The universe's expansion, which was first introduced by Edwin Hubble, remains one of the most significant puzzles in cosmology. Although we know the universe is expanding, measuring the precise rate of this expansion has led to conflicting results, a challenge referred to as the Hubble tension. So, could Webb finally help us unlock the secrets behind the universe's expansion and bring clarity to this cosmic mystery? In this video, we'll explore the Hubble tension, the role of the James Webb Space Telescope in addressing this mystery, and what it could mean for our understanding of the universe. The Hubble tension is a major challenge in modern cosmology, centered on conflicting measurements of the Hubble constant, which is the rate at which the universe is expanding. This debate traces back to Edwin Hubble's 1929 discovery that the universe is expanding, which revolutionized cosmology and led to the development of the Big Bang Theory. Over time, two primary methods for measuring the Hubble constant have emerged, producing divergent results. The first method analyzes the cosmic microwave background, the residual light from the Big Bang. By studying this ancient radiation, scientists estimate the universe's expansion rate during its earliest moments, which has yielded a precise Hubble constant of around 67.4 kilometers per second per megaparsec. The second method focuses on more recent cosmic history by observing the expansion rate of nearby galaxies. By calculating their distances and recession velocities, astronomers derive a higher Hubble constant, roughly 74 kilometers per second per megaparsec. This discrepancy between the two measurements, known as the Hubble tension, suggests that something significant might have altered the universe's expansion over time, or it may point to new physics beyond our current understanding. The tension challenges the Lambda CDM model, which has otherwise successfully explained phenomena like galaxy formation and the distribution of cosmic structures. Webb's infrared light penetrates cosmic dust more effectively than visible light, enabling it to capture clearer images of stars and galaxies that might otherwise be obscured which is pivotal for measuring the Hubble constant using different types of stars and comparing those measurements across different cosmic epochs. Wendy Friedman and her team at the University of Chicago utilized Webb to observe 10 nearby galaxies, focusing on three distinct types of stars to measure the universe's expansion. The first method they employed involved cepheid variable stars. Cepheids are a type of star that pulsates at regular intervals, with a direct relationship between their pulsation period and intrinsic brightness. So the strategy is measuring the apparent brightness of these stars and comparing it to their intrinsic brightness so that astronomers can determine their distance from Earth. This, in turn, allows for the calculation of the Hubble constant based on how fast these galaxies are receding from us. The second method used by Friedman's team is known as the tip of the red giant branch, TRGB. This method focuses on a specific stage in the evolution of low-mass stars, where they reach a consistent maximum brightness before transitioning to the next phase of their life cycle. This method provides a reliable distance measurement, especially for older, more evolved galaxies. The third method involves carbon stars, which are characterized by their consistent brightness in the near-infrared spectrum, making them excellent candidates for distance measurements using Webb's infrared capabilities. What makes this study groundbreaking is the simultaneous application of all three methods within the same set of galaxies, which allowed for cross-verification of the results, reducing the likelihood of errors or biases that might affect the measurement of the Hubble constant. Remarkably, the values obtained from these different methods were consistent with each other and aligned closely with the CMB-based measurement of the Hubble constant around 67.4 kilometers per second per megaparsec. This suggests that the discrepancy observed in previous measurements might be narrowing, potentially reducing the severity of the Hubble tension. If future observations continue to support the alignment of these different methods, it could indicate that the Hubble tension is not due to a fundamental flaw in our understanding of the universe, but rather a result of the challenges inherent in measuring such vast cosmic distances. However, if discrepancies persist, it might suggest that new physics or unknown cosmic phenomena are influencing the universe's expansion. In 
If Webb's findings continue to confirm the lower value of the Hubble constant, around 67.4 kilometers per second per megaparsec, it would suggest that our current cosmological model, the Lambda CDM model, remains robust. This model, which includes dark energy, dark matter, and the cosmological constant, lambda, has been incredibly successful in explaining a wide range of astronomical observations. A consistent Hubble constant would reinforce the idea that the universe's expansion has been relatively smooth and predictable since the Big Bang, with no need for drastic revisions to our understanding of cosmic history. However, if the Hubble tension persists, and if Webb uncovers new data that suggests the universe's expansion rate varies more than expected, it could indicate that something fundamental is missing from our current models. This could lead to the discovery of new physical laws or forces that govern the cosmos beyond what we currently know. For instance, dark energy, the mysterious force driving the universe's accelerated expansion, could be more complex than previously thought or there could be new particles or fields influencing cosmic evolution in ways we haven't yet detected. Another possibility is that the tension arises from an incomplete understanding of how cosmic structures like galaxies and clusters have evolved over time. Webb's ability to observe galaxies at different stages of their evolution, from the early universe to the present day, will provide critical data for testing these ideas. By comparing the properties of galaxies at different distances, Astronomers can build a more detailed picture of how the universe's expansion has changed over time, potentially revealing new insights into the nature of dark matter, dark energy, and the underlying structure of spacetime. The potential implications extend even further. If new physics are required to explain the Hubble tension, this could lead to a revolution in our understanding of fundamental forces and particles. It might even challenge the very foundations of general relativity, the theory that has governed our understanding of gravity and the structure of the universe for over a century. Such a discovery would be on par with the most significant scientific breakthroughs in history, comparable to the discovery of quantum mechanics or the realization that the universe is expanding in the first place. Even if Webb's data ultimately support the Lambda CDM model without requiring new physics, the process of resolving the Hubble tension will likely lead to a deeper understanding of the universe. Thank you for watching. We hope this video has deepened your understanding of one of the most significant challenges in modern cosmology and the groundbreaking efforts to resolve it. If you enjoyed this content and want to stay updated on the latest discoveries in astronomy and space science, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. We look forward to exploring more cosmic mysteries with you in future videos. Until then, keep looking up.